Man, I love fish and chips. So today's video is all about fish and chips. Before we get into that, this is where the recipe comes from. That is the Bosch cookbook, this bad boy here. And we just heard today, this has passed over 200,000 sales. So that means 200,000 of you who bought the Bosch cookbook. Thank you so much, we really appreciate it. As usual, this is the Boss Boys vlog. We would like to welcome you here. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Hit like if you like the video, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Without further ado, let's talk about fish and chips. We're gonna show you the tastiest fish and chips we found in London, and then our recipe for fish and chips. London town on a summer's day. Is there anywhere better in all of the world? I doubt it. It's a melting pot of culture, this city, and it's also a melting pot of fantastic food. A smorgasbord of cuisines can be found in this humble town. We are hunting for the British classic, fish and chips. Let's do this. We took so long on that cycle, we might miss the fish and chips at our first stop, which is the coach and horses in Soho. Mm. So that is vegan fish and chips. They've done a really good job here of getting a crispy batter. It's quite light, the flavouring is quite subtle. We'll probably add a little bit more, but it's really good. And I love the fact you've got this right in the heart of central London in this vegetarian and vegan pub. The most important thing for me though, it was always all about the tartar sauce. For me, the flavour of the tartar sauce is really important and they've nailed it with this. When I was a kid, I used to love a fish finger butty. It was like a real treat on like a Sunday afternoon. This looks legit. I reckon this is going to be an absolute banger. Right, excuse me, I'm going to take a bite. I hope you don't mind. Mm. Mm -hmm. Fish finger sandwich is a very good idea, you know. I, mean, I can't wait to get back into the studio and make something that is not dissimilar to this. That was a really tasty meal. Coach and horses in Soho. Come check it out. Fish and chips round one is done. Next up, we're going to the Dove in Broadway Market. So we're here in the Dove at Broadway Market and we are on dish number two. This looks amazing, so I'm just gonna go straight in and see how it tastes. Okay, wow, it looks legit, it has a really good mouthfeel to it and it's quite fishy. The tartar sauce, well, let's give that a whirl as well. It's salty, it's acidic, it's very reminiscent of the sea and it works perfectly with that tofu. One final point to mention about this dish is the addition of the mushy peas. It's like a British classic, a British staple to have mushy peas in there. Although I prefer it when you've got little bits of pea in there as well. Regardless, this is an essential combination. Tofu, chips, and mushy peas. Maybe we'll do it in a sandwich. Next stop, Sutton and Sons. This is Sutton and Sons. We've been really excited about this place. I feel like a kid at Christmas. And this is the gift under the tree. A big, warm, steamy, battered gift, which I'm gonna yam down. Let's look inside. I mean, this is an authentic fish and chip shop, so they know what they're doing. They know how to batter. They know how to make chips perfect. This is gonna be great. That is banana blossom. So rather than using tofu, as the other two places did, Sutton and Sons use banana blossom. And you can see why. I mean, it's fibrous. Let's have a taste. Mm. Okay, that's really interesting. The banana blossom has got a slight subtle flavor. They've obviously marinated it really well. They will have used caper brine, they will have used lemon and salt to give you the flavor of the seed. But there is an indistinguishable flavor, which I guess must be banana blossom. However, it's really, really well done. It looks the part, and I for one am absolutely chuffed to be able to eat vegan fish and chips again in North London. So that's it, our hunt for vegan fish and chips has come to an end. We've found three fantastic options but this, well, this is probably the best because of the fact that they're using an ingredient that isn't tofu. Guys, it's been a pleasure, but what's going to be more pleasurable is making it at home for you. Let's go.